As of today, the popular electric scooters you see people zooming around on in downtown and the beach have a new set of rules. Motorized scooter and e-bike riders may not like all the changes, but the city of San Diego says safety was at the forefront of this decision. CBS 8's Jenny Day is live in the newsroom tonight to break it all down. Jenny. Good evening, gentlemen. Well, some of the big changes include just how many are on the road, where you can park them, and how fast they will go. Today, those new regulations went into effect after being approved by the San Diego City Council in May. So the rental scooters can no longer just be ditched anywhere. They must be parked in designated areas. The company has one hour to move it, or it may be impounded. There will also be fewer of them, 8,000 instead of 11,000. Only four scooter companies are approved to operate in the city now, and they will be held more accountable. For example, verifying the rider is over 16. Technology within the scooter, called geofencing, will also force it to slow down in certain areas. But I've seen people definitely miss, like, crash them and break them and have three people on it at once. I'm not going to lie. It'd be nice if you could just grab it and leave it anywhere so whatever they can safely do then there you that's what i think safe well, about safety my friend yeah, the changes all stem from a lawsuit filed by Disability Rights California over scooters blocking certain areas for those with mobility issues. Lime, Lift, Link, and Spin are the companies now operating here. They have said in the past it's a safe, affordable, and sustainable way to get around. Live in the newsroom, Jenny Day, CBS 8. Yeah, they're a lot of fun. Just keep them safe for everyone, Definitely. Jenny Day. Thanks, Jenny.